everybody and welcome back to another episode of let's play don't stop today i want to get a couple things done one of them being first aid kits for our resurrection stones so the purpose of this is so if you die in the middle of summer or winter and you come back at your little stone a lot of times you'll end up freezing or overheating to death before you can get back to your stuff and it's very unfortunate and it's happened to me a number of times so today we are gonna make little first aid kits to stop that from happening so let's go ahead and get ourselves some boards here so what we're gonna do is we're going to make ourselves a chest and I believe we only have one stone so far I think this is the only one that we found so far I haven't noticed another one uh, so we're going to go ahead and make a chest here and we'll just keep it in our little inventory here and then another thing that I want to make is I'm going to keep a stack of wood over there. I'm also going to keep some grass, so we might need to pick up some grass today. And then what's another thing? I also want to keep a winter hat and a thermal stone over there. So we can go ahead and get the thermal stone going, I'm thinking. Uh, we might actually not have enough rocks for it. Uh, and then stuff for the winter hat. We also have to keep in mind that we need two winter hats because we need to be able to wear one ourselves and then we need to be able to put one in there. Um, it's time. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Weber. There we go. And let's see here. I need to be by one of these, I'm assuming. I need to find the winter hat and see how much. Okay. So we need four wool, four cobwebs. So we don't have enough cobwebs right now. We only have six. Hmm. I think... I think I'm just going to leave the hat for right now. Because I want to make sure that I have enough for my own. We'll eventually get enough cobwebs. We just need two more. And we are fine on beefalo wool. Glamour, you are being awful awfully loud right now. But we need to find, I believe... We need, it would be in survival, I'm guessing. It's an egg thing. Yes, okay, we can make this right here. And then what do we need for another one? So we're a little short on stone and we need another pickaxe. So we'll have to go out and do that at another time. I wanna make sure, again, I have enough to make another one for myself. So we have everything. So we need to go get some more grass right now. We're good on wood. Uh, and then eventually just getting more cobwebs so that way we can make another hat and I think that'll be good enough We'll have wood and grass to make a fire and Then we'll also have a thermal stone. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I am sorry grass tufts There we go. And now I need to fertilize that. Oh wait, there's poo over here. Perfect. So convenient <laughs> Let's go ahead and fertilize this real quick. There we go so, uh, but I think that'll be good enough, just having a thermal stone and a hat, because we don't really need to survive on just that, we have to get back to our items with that. So I think that'll be doable, and it doesn't really seem like there's any grass around, which is kind of unfortunate. But let's go ahead and make our way up to the little resurrection stone. Another thing that I want to get done today is I really want to adventure more. We really haven't explored much of our world at all. And something that I really want to find, hopefully before winter, but we'll see, is I really want to find the little igloos that the... Uh, let's go check on our spiders. Let's see what size the nest is. I really want to find the... I think it's called the Mac Tusk? I think that's what they're called. Okay, so this is still tier two. I really want to find a Mac Tusk igloo. I think they're called Mac Tusk. I'm not entirely sure, but they dropped two, two of thing, the, the, um, <laughs> words today are really difficult, apparently. Uh, they dropped two things that I really want, though. One of them is the Tam O'Shanter, which is an amazing hat. It makes it so your sanity rarely ever drops while you're wearing it. And then the other thing is a walrus tusk, which allows us to make a walking cane, which makes us walk faster, which is very convenient and nice to have. So I'm glad we're running into some grass along here, though, to pick it up. I think I just want maybe 40, and then I can cut my stack in half. Let's go ahead and keep following this path. I know there's one over here. I should really probably explore this area as well and see if there's any more spiders along there because right now we're only sitting at two oh i do want this rock we're really only sitting at two spider nests right now which really is not enough so 
We really need to go out and look for more. I'm also going to pick up that rock because we are low on rocks and there isn't really the one rock field that we found really doesn't have anything in it anymore. There are rocks on the map still, but they're not gold rocks and we really need those as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and plop down our chest and need to be cautious of our time. We'll pick up this stick as well. So what are we going to put in here? We're going to put a stack. We probably really don't even need a stack. We'll go ahead and cut this in half, which you do by pressing control, by the way. And then uh, the thermal stone, which is right here. So I think this will be good. We definitely need to put the winter hat in there whenever possible. And let's go ahead and grab this this rock up here and it looks like there's a couple more up here so oh i'm using the wrong axe uh it looks like there's a couple more rocks up here so i might go ahead and just explore a little bit i don't even know if we have much niter yet but yeah i might explore up here see if there's any more rock stuff or even the igloo. I don't know that the igloo spawns in any specific biomes. I think it can really be anywhere except for the swamp. I believe I read that somewhere that it can spawn anywhere except ooh gold rock. It can spawn anywhere except for a swamp. And I believe we're in a mosaic biome right now, which is why there's so many different biome grasses all around. So, I'm going to go ahead Ooh, oh, okay, never mind. There's a mole. For some reason, I was thinking it was an animal track. I really want to find an animal track. But I'm going to go ahead and keep picking up rocks around here, crush a couple more, and then I will be back to you once we're back to our base, I think. Alrighty, well, I kind of explored a little bit during the night, and I... Ooh! Ooh, more spiders. Ooh, two spiders. Okay, this is really nice. Hopefully the spiders die. Sorry spiders, but I do want your meat. Oh, I should stop using this torch. And so a couple things. So obviously these spiders, which is awesome. Oh, there's actually another nest up there. This is perfect. This is what I've been looking for. I also found these guys though. There's some mandrakes around here. So we'll go ahead and pick this guy up. I saw another one somewhere else as well. Did any of the spiders die? I'm assuming if they did, the meat was eaten. Stupid spiders being all cannibalistic and stuff. Is that even a word? Cannibalistic? I don't know if it is. But there are some pigs around here that we should be careful with. Uh, I wonder what this guy is though. Oh, here he is. So he'll come after me. Hopefully we can get him to maybe hit the spider nest. Yeah, there we go. So spiders should go after him. And hopefully he can kill one or something so that way we can get some meat going. Yeah, he's got a friend now. So hopefully we'll be able to get like one spider meat and or monster meat. And that way we can befriend some spiders, get some stuff going. Don't go after me, go after the spiders. There we go. Pick up the meat. And then I'm going to go let go ahead. <laughs> I just keep mixing my words together today. I'm going to go ahead and let them fight. And then, oh yeah, I forgot about this. Oh, here's an animal track. One thing that's really annoying is that I'm so used to going up to uh, spider webs and then just automatically coming out, but they don't come out for Weber unless it's evening, which really sucks and is really annoying. But we found some animal tracks here. I don't know that we can follow it really right now though, unless we run into some food. There is that other mandrake. I'll just leave that there for now. I can eat the mandrake when it, like, worst comes to worst, but I would prefer not to. Here's some more spiders. Good, good. Oh, I guess I do have the monster meat, too, but still. Here's some berries. Let's pick these up. I am at, I mean, I'm at 49 already. I was going to say I'm at 50. Um, but I think we'll be fine. We haven't really explored this area before, so I think we should be fine. Here's the next one. We are finding so many spiders today. This is really good. However, our base is too far away that they'll really stay loaded. So I think these will kind of forever be tier ones unless we end up relocating them somewhere. Here's a gold rock that I would like to pick up real quick. And hopefully we can find this qualifant that we're looking for. It's really, it's the best thing to go searching for qualifants at the beginning of the game. Because then it they turn into Varg, 
Um, or you can possibly find Varg, and Varg is not good. Varg is not a good time. Uh, did I... Have I just not reached the next one yet? Or did I miss it? I think I missed it. Let's go ahead and go back to that last one. I hate it when they're in between trees. They're just really difficult to find. Nope. Where did it go now? <laughs> I'm probably not going to be able to find it now. A uh, little foot thing. It was by this somewhere. It was by... Oh gosh, where was it? Don't go after me, frog. Do frogs actually attack Weber? I don't know if they do. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna find this. Alrighty, well, I couldn't find the animal track, so I kind of just gave up. I gave up probably too quickly, but it became dark out and I just didn't feel like searching for it anymore. But I found this area, which is really good. It doesn't have... Please don't hit me. Nobody hit me. It doesn't have the little doohickey. I think it's called like the wooden thing in the middle, uh, but it is one of the larger biomes. I don't- is that the marble biome? I think that's what they're called. But let's go ahead and start walking back. We're at 25 hunger right now, which is not really the best, and we need to get out of here before that rook comes for us. Go away, rook. Go away. Is that the rook? I don't even know what they're called, but we're gonna go ahead and start walking back. Hopefully we can make it back. We can try- Ooh, berries, berries. Come to me, berries. Berries. Come to me. Eat. Oh yeah, and I keep forgetting I have this monster me. I'm kind of tempted- Okay, good. This is the path back to our house. I'm kind of tempted to maybe pick up some spiders tonight. And then... Maybe I can try doing some stuff with them? I don't really know. Do I want to check- I'm just gonna go straight to my house. I was gonna check to see if- these nests had upgraded at all, but I don't think they have. Or at least I doubt they have. Uh, but let's go ahead and just get back to our house. We really need to eat. I do have a torch though, just in case it does become night before we reach it. Which I don't think it should. We'll be able to use our campfire. I should probably also try to get a little bit more wood since I only have 16 now that I put a stack into um, that chest back there. And what are we at? We're at 23. We'll be good for a couple of hot seconds. And let's go ahead and throw- let's actually throw some pine cones in here first. Just to get rid of them since I don't really need them right now. Get that uh, fueled. And then what do I want to make? Let's go ahead and throw that in there. We don't need to throw the mandrake in there. We do have some rot now from some petals which will come in handy later. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make some meatballs. Even though it does use one of our meat, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And then, for the time being, while we're waiting, I'll go ahead and make a couple of these. Just to get my tummy full a little bit. Uh, these are really convenient. I used to actually really not like these trees. But these trees are actually way better than normal pine trees because you can actually eat the... Like, eat eat the seeds, which is rather convenient. Let's go ahead and continue eating these, see if we can get all the way full. And not quite. We are sitting at 86 before. I think we were around 75 health before. So we're getting up, we're getting our health up, and it's already not nighttime. Let's go ahead and throw our mandrake in here. Do we have niter? We do, right there. And let's throw our rocks in here and our gold. Is there anything else I want to throw in here? I don't I think so. Pick up some berries. That's another thing. I do need to remember that because winter is coming soon, I do kind of need to stock up on food a bit, which I have been doing a little bit. Uh, we do have a decent amount of berries and mushrooms and things, but they will go bad before I can finish eating them. So the question is, what do I want to do now? I think I'm going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and go down. Uh, over here. I'm gonna take- I'm gonna cook a couple more of these and just take them with me just in case. Uh, I'll take like five with me. So four, five. And then what I want to do is I want to go and explore the swamp area. And I think what we're eventually gonna do with these spiders is, uh, I think I want to kill off a couple of them because I do really need cobwebs. 
so i might go ahead and kill off a couple of the webs which kind of sucks but they're really too far away from our base right now to do anything with them and i am gonna go ahead and collect some of these reeds because these normally come in handy later on and then you normally don't have them because they're just kind of something random so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and go through the swamp i'm gonna collect some reeds just kind of map out the area and then I will be back with you. Alrighty guys, so I have been looking around here and I ran into some more animal tracks and oof, this is a really dangerous area right now. Uh, I ran into some animal tracks and I followed them and I found a koala fit and that was so convenient, but I need to try to get out of here before this tentacle kills me. So much me, okay, getting out of here, goodbye. Too many of these little guys not having it okay getting out of here but you could see there was one of the tracks there but boom we got the koala fin trunk that was definitely something i didn't think we were gonna get today i just wanted to find out where he was but that was really a very conveniently placed tentacle that sounded weird when it came out of my mouth uh i think that yeah there's a rock over here so uh, let's go ahead and ooh. the question is do i want to try to make the trek back through the swamp at night or do I want to just wait till morning? I think let's go ahead and go through at night. I do have a torch here and there is a bit of a path. I ended up getting 11 reeds, which isn't really that great. And I already lost the path. Let's just go with a general direction that we need to go. If we keep moving, it should be no problem. And then as I say, if we keep moving, I still have to pick up reeds, but you know, whatever. We're probably, oop, that's why we keep moving. Uh, let's see here. Direction. Still going in the right direction. And we had stopped, like, right on top of a tentacle to look at our map. But I think we're almost out of the swamp now. So that actually wasn't that bad. Or are we? Uh, yeah, we're almost out of the swamp. So, yeah, that wasn't that bad. I felt like we were a lot further away than what we were. But, yes, boom, a koala thin trunk. Which, I'm gonna, once we get back to base, I'm gonna check and see exactly what we need with the qualifant trunk to make um, to make our jacket that we need. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. I'm not sure how quickly those degrade, so I might need to make the vest soon. Uh, it is almost nighttime, but let's see here. Let's go ahead and check. It would be in dress, I would assume, and it's called a breezy vest, I believe. Um, would it be? Oh, I think I just saw something. Breezy vest. So we need eight silk with that. So we're definitely in desperate need of silk right now. So I think next episode, that's going to be our main objective is just getting silk. Uh, we definitely are going to have to get rid of some more of these spider nests or some more. We need to get rid of just some of them in general. Um, there are some more spider nests through here. There's two kind of dabbled in here and I'm assuming there's probably a couple more we might be able to get rid of those this is just oh I guess there's three this is just kind of like a cluster right here there's way too many of the little swamp monsters in there so I don't think I really want to go in there battling spiders in a swamp just doesn't sound fun to me so I think we'll end up just taking out some of these maybe I'll take out these ones and then I'll leave these ones, so that way I'm not getting rid of all of them. The only reason that I would want to get rid of these ones is just because these ones are closer to the base, so they're actually growing, or at least this first one is, but these ones were probably never really going to go in this area, so they're never going to become full tiered nests, so we're not going to be able to replace them anywhere. Uh, there are different ways that we can get nests, but again, we need more silk and things. So, yes, it'll come with time, but definitely need more silk next episode. But that is going to be about it for today. Where are my logs? Here they are. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Don't Starve. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And Goodbye.